here. How are y'all doing today? Today, I'm going to do a lesson on the circulatory system. Are y'all ready? Okay, so get your notebook ready and a pencil. You're going to follow along and take notes with me, and we're going to learn about the circulatory system. Okay, so make sure you um, follow along and first you need to draw the um, graphic organizer as you see it here on my page i'm going to move fairly quick but please know please know that you can always pause the video as you're taking the notes so you can um, get caught up okay so the first thing uh, you need to write is the circulatory system, okay? And in the middle, we're going to put that the circulatory system main job is main function is to transport blood, okay? The circulatory system main function is to transport i'll tell you what what it transports okay all right so transport is just a fancy word for carry so the circulatory system carries or transports three main things to every cell of the body, okay? One thing that it carries to every cell of the body is nutrients. Nutrients is just a fancy word for the energy um, that the cells eat. And for nutrients, we're, I'm just gonna draw a um, piece of food because that's how we get our energy. So I'm just gonna draw a piece of pizza. All right, so that's one thing that is transported by the circulatory system, the nutrients to every single cell of the body. All right, next we have the circulatory system also transports oxygen. The air we breathe has oxygen, those little microscopic bubbles that we can see, the oxygen is also transported by the circulatory system. Another one that is transported by the circulatory system is waste. What? What are some of the waste? products that are carried by the circulatory system. So when I think of waste, I think of a trash can, like trash, unnecessary things that we don't need. What are some of the ways that are transported by the uh, circulatory system? One is CO2, that gas that when we breathe out, we don't need, All right? Also, Another waste is the um, all the uh, waste from the food after we digest it that is no longer needed, and all those um, waste liquids also get transported by the circulatory system. So liquid waste and CO2. And the leftover waste, the solid waste, the leftover from the food we don't need. Well, let me erase the solid because um, eventually it becomes a solid thing. So CO2 and liquids uh, are transported by the circulatory system. All right. So um, another main function of the circulatory system is 
It transport, but its main function as well is to pump blood. So when you think of the circulatory system, I want you to think of the heart is the main organ pumping blood to the rest of the body, okay? So the circulatory system pumps blood throughout the body and the main organ who pumps the blood is the heart. The other parts of the circulatory system involve are called bl um, blood vessels. And vessels are just um, hollow tubes Like, and I'm going to give you some of those examples. One example is the, so they're hollow tubes that allow blood to flow through. So let me erase some of this. Tubes, and they allowed blood to flow through them. Some examples are arteries. I'm going to change the color here so they you know there are examples of that all right and veins and the last one is capillaries all right and this is all I have for the notes today, guys, on the circulatory system. Uh